Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have got a few things, kind of random, but I've got these three lovely colours of wool or yarn. So they're one ninety nine each from Pound Stretcher. Uh, they're called colours, so I've got this lovely vibrant pink, turquoise and this yellowy colour. They do loads, but I wanted these three. I love to make uh, pom-poms, I like them hanging in my craft room. I have the pom-pom makers, but you can just use, like we used to do in school, circular piece of card and then just wrap it all around so but yeah thought they were really lovely colors and um i might do some weaving as well actually thinking about it because i haven't done that for a while and i do enjoy it so anyway picked those ones up loved those colors and 199 each i thought that was quite a bargain then on saturday me and my mum went to um a local town called tavistock really lovely and uh they have like a market on there well the market's on every day actually but it's just a bit more of an atmosphere on a Saturday. So there's this lady there who's got a really nice craft um, kind of shop. And she had this here, which was a ribbon lace bargain pack for a pound. And you can see there, there's absolutely tons in here. Now I know you're gonna look and think, well, they're not great colors, but for me, they are. And I love these, you know, these are fluorescent. This is actually, that's ribbon. That's the thinner, uh, same, but in a thinner, you know, width there. They're both a satin ribbon. This here is like the high vis kind of trim imagine that around like when people are cycling on their bikes but it's beautiful it's going to make such a nice bow it is actually more fluorescent than it's actually picking up in camera here but i think that's going to look lovely as handles on gift bags and um, there's loads quite a lot there you can see how thick that is then i've got all these i've got these fluorescent got woven ones there i've got the pinks in different lengths so i've got all different widths sorry i've got they're the woven ones and then I've got the satins there in the larger, medium and small. Again, there's, there's quite a nice amount on there. When you think some places charge, you know, just for that they charge you a pound. So this I'm not too sure about. Maybe if I'm doing a, a, something for a little girl, or maybe like a unicorn kind of card, I could maybe use it for something. I'll never throw it away because there will always be some time that it will come in handy. That was quite nice. I'll be doing that using this this uh, Easter. Happy Easter. A nice amount there. I look nice on a card or, you know, to, on a gift bag or something. And then I've got all these here, all slightly different, different widths, different textures, different fabrics. And then black. It's, some, it's one of those ones that you don't really think you need and then something comes up and I'm like, oh, I could really do with some black. But the nice thing about this is it's thin. So I've got some thick black and I've got some velvet black. There's some really nice thin ones here. Really good quality as well. So, and there's a satin one there. And then brown, again, not something I go to a lot, but now I'm doing more magazine commissions. I do get asked to do like specific kind of themes. Um, so I'm no doubt they might ask me to do like a woodland or something with, to do with nature or even again, more masculine cards. It's things like this that will come in really handy. That's a really nice textured one there. And again, the thinner ones. The green one, I don't like that. That is that like plastic, it's really rough. Can you hear it? I hate that. Again, it's okay to put double-sided tape on and maybe stick directly down, but to make bows and stuff, no, don't like that. So I've got two of them. They're really rough on the edges, so don't like them. This is beautiful. It's like an organza polka dot. Really nice, and there's quite a lot there. I'd say it's like a metre and a half, so, and again in this beautiful olive colour, and they actually go quite nice together. So there's that, and then some nice tartan. So I thought that was quite good as well. Again, if I get asked to do any kind of commission work and you never know, it might come in handy. And then this here is more like wrapping. If I show you here, if it works how I think it will, just take that off. It should be okay for, yeah, there we go. So that'd be fine for wrapping some presents. There's loads there actually. And then that one there, again, perfect for more masculine style cards. So I will take these all out and have them all hanging, which is how I display my ribbons, because then I can see them better. But you can see there, it's quite cool. So yeah, so that was a good find for a pound. And it's really unusual stuff. It's not stuff that I would go out and pick up and buy, you know, a whole roll of say that. But when it came together like that, I thought actually that's really good value. So I'm gonna grab that. So what else do we get? We always like to do the charity shops in Tavistock because they have loads. It's a real nice independent town. It's the same as like Totnes that we have near where I live. And the reason I love going to those places is they're not 
um, taken over by huge high street chains. You just don't find them there. It's lots of independent shops and that's why I love it so much. So we popped into one of the charity shops and there was a whole bin full of all these really lovely cottons here. So I don't do cross stitch. I have done it in the past and I do enjoy it, but it's just something that I have so many other things I like to do. And for me, it's my watercoloring and stuff that I prefer to do in my downtime. So I've got these because I do find that sometimes I need like just a little bit of string or a tiny bow or something to kind of maybe dangle something off of the side of maybe a mini album or something. So we had all these and there was no price on the thing. I just got all these together and you can see all these lovely colours here. And the dear lady at the till when she got there, she said, oh, a pound. So I got all of this for a pound, which again was brilliant. So yeah, I got all that ribbon and then I got all of this. And um, again, things like this in the shops, these on their own. You know, they're not cheap. So eight metres on each of these. So yeah, I think I've got enough there now. I don't need to be uh, looking at buying that anymore, but I'm gonna sort it out and find somewhere to keep that all nice and safe. Then I picked up these, which are brilliant, and I am gonna try and find more. So these are bridal rose petals. Again, they're quite old, I don't know. This looks like it's, I don't know. Well, it's got the barcode there, but it doesn't look like it's new stuff but then I haven't been into a bridal shop for a long time so anyway it's 99p and I use this in my scrapbook layout on Sunday and basically what I done is I put a hole punch in the bottoms of all of the petals so I just went through and maybe selected like an odd number so five punched holes and then overlap them all and put a brad through the middle and you create a really lovely flower so you can see there and then I've done a smaller layer on top because there are different sizes in here. It's packed full, packed full of these lovely petals. And then you can go down a size like so, and then go around again. And then um, I used them on the scrapbook layout and it looked really nice. I put a lovely decorative brad through the middle, but how nice they're gonna look on cards. And they are so soft, so they're for, you know, they're, they're lying nice and flat. So it's not gonna, you know, cost you too much more in postage and stuff, but what a lovely, you know, way to use them. So yeah don't throw these at a wedding because i don't know what were they oh they would have probably been to decorate a, your table and stuff like that i would imagine but i'd love to get hold of some you know white ones and maybe like a light pink but um i'm not going to pay out a lot for them so i'll just keep looking out again in charity shops and see if i can find them so but yeah a pound for all of that and i've already made a few flowers and there's still so much in there you do get a few leaves in there as well there was a rogue white one which was a bit random but anyway so that was another good find then when i'm out and about i pop in the works we've got quite a few of them in different little kind of towns and villages and stuff so these are new ones i use these again in my scrapbook layout and i did say that they've got new colors in so this is the pink and the yellow i haven't seen these in there so i guess they've yeah got some new stock coming in really nice i love using these and yeah You'll see me using them loads. And I also use them on the scrapbook layout on Sunday. These are metal adhesive embellishments. So I use the strip that was at the bottom there, but they're metal hearts and they look lovely. They really finish off your projects nicely. So again, a pound, you can't go wrong at those prices. And then I picked up these. Now I know I got some metal ones a couple of weeks ago, but these are slightly thicker and they're more of a, like a gun metal. So they're slightly darker. They're not as delicate as the other ones. Those ones were had lots of bits cut out of them, whereas these are solid. So they're just metal leaves and you get 10 in there. So yeah, that was a couple of bits I just got when I was in the works. Oh, and also got those. How lovely are they? They're gonna look lovely distressed. You could add you know, some of your inks to the, the ends of the petals. And I like that you get all different sizes and it's a real nice white color there. So they're gonna get used probably on a scrapbook layout or maybe on the top of a gift box or something that look really pretty, but Again, for the price, I don't think that's too bad. And then I popped into Hobbycraft and just got these. I didn't actually get anything else in there, but these I haven't seen before. 372, and what I liked about them is they're a matte silver and a matte gold. So again, these silver ones here, they look more like a metal and they're perfect for when you're using, when you're creating masculine cards and you just want maybe some texture to them, some di dimension rather than glitter and bling. These are perfect. So, and they almost look like, you know, they could be like a bolt or something. So if you're doing like a tall themed, 
you know, kind of card or projects, then they work well for that. So I've got them for that reason and that I hadn't seen them and you do get a lot there, so they'll last me. So that was those ones from Hobbycraft. Then I popped into Wilkinson's, I had to get some boring stuff, but I always just look down the craft aisle. It is more kind of aimed at kids, but I did like these and I've got an idea for a scrapbook layout and um, I liked this here with the ice creams. So that's a sticker pad. Just bring it up there and these are 75p so again just cheap and cheerful but i quite liked those ones and these are just nice because they're small puffy stickers but i thought they'd look nice on some of my scrapbook layouts and now we're coming into the spring and the summer my layouts will become more colorful and vibrant so these things will get used oh i also picked up that one from the same lady from that little craft store this was 250 i love the woodware stamps they're just such good quality but I hadn't got any, since I've been doing my Easter projects, I'm looking for my Easter stamps and I haven't got just any good simple greetings. So I've got this nice font here with Easter greetings and then Happy Easter and I really liked the Happy Easter one. So it's just a classic one that can just stay in my stash and I know that that'll be used, you know, year in, year out. So I picked that one up. And I lied, I did get something else in Hobbycraft. I picked up these because I'm doing a lot of cards for the magazines a lot of them get photographed so I just needed to find more of a I guess cheaper way for me to buy my card blanks so I've tried these ones so you get 50 value crafts hobby craft they're 200 gsm let's just have a look how well these stand it's to the so by the time I add my mats and layers to them they should be okay yeah I mean they are softer flims I'm, I usually use the 300 GSM but um, I'm going through them so quickly whereas I thought these here I get 50 but I think by the time I add my mats and layers those ones are going to be fine so yeah they're good they should do the trick and these are the hobby base value crafts range okay so yeah you'll see them popping up but they're mainly really for my commission cards that I do and then finally, I had real success with the Arteza demo and review that I'd done a couple of weeks ago or last week. Um, the guys there were really pleased and um, they said that they would love to continue collaborating with me, which was so nice of them. And asked me if I'd like to choose some more product, which I was, well, as you can imagine, how exciting is that? So they've sent me these here. Now I've got, you know how much I love doing my watercolouring. So this is going to be a really nice thing for me to really kind of compare against my other watercolors because I've got the Derwent and I've also got the Reeves watercolor pencils and I've got another company as well I can't remember the name of them so it'll be interesting to see how these ones really do kind of stand up against other ones that I enjoy using so I've got 72 here and I'll be sharing this in more detail but I'm going to do I'm going to break down the videos for these so I'll do a video just on these pencils for example but I've got three there look at those amazing and again I've seen the reviews on these and I've watched um, people use them you know over the months and they they do stand up really well so I'm yeah really excited to use these so I've got them they come in that lovely tin so it's easy to store and then these ones here I've got the 48 real brush print real brush pens now I do have the Japanese branded ones again I can't pronounce the name so it'd be nice to see how these ones are you know compared to there so I've got another one of these which is great because I enjoy using them that's the water brush but then I've also got four layers of these brush pens again cannot wait to start using these and these are the watercolor brush pens so yeah you'll be seeing them appear and I will like I said I'm going to do probably a tutorial using these and making a card then I'll do another one with using them because I think there's quite a lot you know and all the colors I think it'd be easier to keep them kind of split then I also re received the heat transfer vinyl I've got some really cool ideas for using this so I was when I saw that it was available on their website I thought yeah definitely so you get 14 sheets 10 inches by 12 so these are nice big sizes and uh, yeah I think yeah I think you're going to like what I've got in mind for these so watch this space and then I also got these now you know I love my glitters let me just move this out of the way and hold them up so there's no glare look at all of this now these are all fine glitters they're almost powder like so the reason I've chosen these is because there's such you know unusual colors you've got like an olive green there 
you've got this deep burgundy like red wine colour you've got so many beautiful shades of like blues there and aqua and how lovely is that going to look with like under the sea themed projects you've got your different shades of gold and you've got like holographic there deeper blues purple you, you get the picture <laughs> There's just so many brilliant ones. And this one here, you've got a glow in the dark. So for Halloween, that's gonna look brilliant for some really fun cards. So when I saw that they had all that available, I thought I'm gonna get them and I will be bringing some really fun tutorials using these glitters. So you seem to really like the glitter tutorials as well, the, the ones that I've shared in the past. So, and I love the names like Tomato Red. Oh, that was Wine Red, there we go. So I got, my, got the color right for that one. Um, Fandango. What else we've got? Brilliant Silver, Shamrock Green. So anyway, I will be showing them in more detail when I go to do those tutorials, but I did get them this week, so I thought I'd share them in this week's What Did I Get? Okay guys, so that is most of what I've got here. I couldn't fit it all on my mat, but really excited to get on with the Arteza stuff because that's really my thing that I love doing. And uh, yeah, we'll see where all the other stuff gets used, scrapbook layouts, most of it really, and the pom-poms, which I will share over on Facebook. I will try and share as many links as possible. All the Arteza stuff will be linked. So I know some of you have already been asking about other products. Things like the Wilkinson stickies and stuff I can't really link, but the work stuff I should be able to. The wool I won't be able to because that's pound stretcher and they don't have online options and the rest is charity shops. But just to give you an idea of what I do through the week and what I buy. So hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.